Hey guys and welcome to the Corporate Challenge Events vlog. My name is Catherine and I'm one of the people and culture enthusiasts uh, at Corporate Challenge Events. So thanks to everyone who joined us uh, for our last episode's 10 Signs Your Workplace Culture is Toxic and How to Fix It. Um, if you missed it and you wanted to check it out, definitely do. Um, you know, lots of great information in there and little things to look out for. In today's episode, though, we are going to take a closer look at the Fumish workplace culture model. Um, so, what on earth is Fumish, I hear you ask? Well, it is an excellent question. Um, the Fumish workplace culture model was created by Corporate Challenge Events Managing Director, Mr. Dwayne Richardson. Uh, it has formulated uh, the basis of his ebook, Avoid the Culture Crash, um, and basically provides a framework and loads of tips and tricks and strategies um, to take your workplace culture to the next level. Um, so I would definitely recommend checking that out. Um, there is also a COVID edition um, that was released earlier this year that specifically looks um, at supporting teams and positive team cultures, you know, during COVID-19, which, you know, a lot of us still find ourselves smack bang in the middle of. Um, so that may be more relevant uh, to you and your team at this time. So diving straight into it, firstly, let's quickly touch um, on why we believe that a positive team culture is linked to success. Um, ultimately, we believe that culture and success go hand in hand. Um, because it signifies a highly effective and engaging environment that allows for a connected and united team working towards a common goal. Um, now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, cool. But how on earth do we do that? Um, well, this is where Fumish comes in. We believe that in order for your workplace to have a positive team culture, it needs to be a Fumish environment. Now, I don't mean a bad smell in the air, um, but rather the acronym that it stands for. And that is that a positive team culture should be friendly, understanding, motivating, inspiring, supportive, and last but not least, happy. You see what we did there? <laughs> um, so what do we mean by each of these and how do you implement them? So starting at the top, a friendly environment connects your team with each other on a personal and professional level. You know, that whether this is via messaging, a phone call, a video chat, um, you know, whatever's relevant to your team at this time, you know, it means showing a genuine interest in the other person and caring about how each team member is coping. An understanding environment means recognizing that fears, anxieties, and uncertainties are all very real emotions, especially for your team right now. Um, you know, talk with your team and try to understand what these emotions are and how to best address them within the workplace, whether that be a traditional setup or a remote environment. Um, all it takes is a simple conversation to help your team feel heard and reassured. When we look at a motivating environment, um, you know, think about your goals and what is expected of you and your team. Redefining anything that is necessary. Um, this is particularly relevant in our current times and if that means that you you know, aren't going to quite reach what you originally hoped for, you know, that's okay. You know, a lot of those things that we were originally striving for in 2020 are no longer possible. You know, don't worry. There are a lot of organisations that are in the exact same boat. You know, if the uncertainty means that you can only plan 30 days ahead at a time, then that's fine. Work with that. Um, the important thing is to remember that is that you work with timeframes and um, indicators that are achievable and within your scope, whatever that looks like. We can all use a little inspiration every now and again, um, which is why it is so important to be an inspiring workplace. Um, revisiting why you do what you do um, and recommitting with your company's purpose is a great place to start. Um, you know, being vulnerable, honest and transparent about what you do know who to be certain and expressing your own fears and anxieties can create a great connection within your team. Having a supportive environment is more important now than ever. Um, it is important to recognize how contagious our attitude and mindset can be. Um, you know, to help with this, find a way to choose your attitude every single day. Um, now, this may sound simple enough, but I promise you it is a lot harder to live and breathe than it initially seems. Um, you know, it's something that we work hard to do at Corporate Challenge events. Um, 
and it takes work and it takes focus you know however it can be an enormous impact um, not, not only yourself but also on those around you um, not only in the workplace but also in a um, a personal like home environment as well and last but certainly not least, um, Fumish is about having a happy working environment. Um, it's no secret that having a bit of fun at work makes the experience about a million times more enjoyable, um, which is why we encourage everyone to find a way to play with your team every single day, remembering that play is not just about mucking around, um, but it's also about being lighthearted um, in everything that you do. Um, by simply adding a way to play and smile every day with your colleagues, you'll be amazed at the contagious effect that it will have on all the people around you. So now that we understand what FUMIS stands for um, and the basic principles, I bet you're wondering how we implement these. So we like to implement FUMIS using the three E's. So that is environment, engagement, and education. So when we're looking at environment, ask yourself what environment will create the most comfort, efficiency and productivity for each team member. Um, you know, and then it's about creating strategies to implement that. And if you have a look at the ebook, there are a whole heap of different ways um, that we suggest for each of these um, three E's um, and tips and strategies so that you can implement in your own organisation. So I would definitely recommend checking it out for specific examples. Um, for education, remember that regularly educating and training your staff will lead to improved performance and a more positive workplace culture. You know, we're curious creatures. We want to learn. We want to grow, um, and especially in a professional sense. Um, so making sure that you provide those opportunities for your team is super important. And finally, boost your engagement by encouraging involvement and investment in the team you and your colleagues are working in. So through having an active willingness to work towards the goals of the team, you will see a shift in your workplace culture in no time. So by implementing the three E's, you are not only building a fumish workplace culture, but you're also setting your team up for success. Um, so really, it's a win-win. Now, I know that there's a lot of information to take in. Um, so go back, listen through it again, take notes or, you know, download the Fumish infographic um, as well if you're more of a visual person. Um, alternatively, if you still need a little extra help, um, we do have a Fumish work, um, workshop which goes through each of the principles in more detail and also um, gives you, I guess, more specific tools and strategies along the way to help you implement Fumish into your workplace. Either way, <laughs> I know Fumish sounds like a lot, but I promise you it works. And that's it. Thank you for joining us for this episode. Um, we hope you enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you again soon.